Mario. 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 Mario! Oh. Oh. Okay. Into here we go. Through the jet stream. Okay. Uh, this one is a simple one, really. Yeah, Mario, I caught you sleeping on the job. Yeah, if you, if anyone's wondering how you get to sleep like that, because everyone's been asking me a lot, like how you get to sleep like that, you know. Well, uh, it's actually a very easy thing to do. Just sit there and wait. I'm uh, waiting about ten minutes will make him fall asleep and sit down. I'm waiting about wait, I'm waiting about five minutes will make him fall asleep by sitting down. And ten minutes will make him lay, like, lay down. And I had to get a coffee, so he fell asleep. Makes sense. Yep, you're wondering why I metal for. It's how you go through that jet stream. That jet stream will push you up if you don't get the metal cap for that. And pretty soon we're gonna have a level just like this one. And then after that, we're gonna have a world for level just like the snow one. Um, the snow one is a little bit easier than the first one, but I think the water one's a lot harder. But this, this isn't a little uh, opinion of mine. I can't go in that top room yet. I have enough stars to go into that top room up there. And the room above it, but I need to get the two bow uh, to do the one Bowser fought to get up there. I can actually go there if I want to, but I'm gonna get the rest of the stars in this area. Uh, so yeah. And I also actually get some stars in the maze. The annoying maze. I've completed this level before my old LP, so it's not that bad. Crap, don't do that jump, Mario. This is my least favorite level. Can you tell? Can you? I'm gonna go for 100 coins. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. It's either I'm gonna do it or I'm gonna die trying. That's my new line. I stole it from the movie. I don't remember what movie it was, but I know I stole it from multiple movies. I wonder who originally wrote that quote. Because that's a funny quote. Especially when you use it right. Crap, you hurt yourself landing. Yeah, if you press Z about halfway, like a few feet from the landing point, uh, you won't take any damage. I pressed it too early, so it fell. I guess the flip makes him. I don't know. And they say a double jump is impossible. In this game, it's a good example of how not to make a double jump. Because look, all Mario can do is super jump, which is just really high jumping, which is just normal jump. No man can physically jump that high. Yes, supposedly Mario isn't a normal person because he is actually has superpowers. I mean, like, the growing from all the, like, mushrooms and stuff doesn't, isn't a superpower because if, if they're just a the food that makes you better like that, then anyone can do it. But scientifically, Mario is awesome at jumping, so he is a superhero. Superhero powers. Where are you? I hate how your eye is a sprite, so... Hurts me. No, you didn't. There it is. I don't get that point, you know. It's a blue coin. Blue coins are worth the most, so they're definitely worth grabbing. You can pick up a blue coin, you know. Uh. Stop right here. Bam, 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 bam. Let's go 
that Mr. I right there. Mr. I is the most pissed me off enemy in this level, but normally he's not that bad. But he got lots of room to run around him with, so makes sense. Follow me? Yeah. Fudge, it fell. Eh, screw it. He's not that worth it. He's not like the perfect boss, I think. Uh, here's a little thing to note. Uh, Mario Mario 5.4.3.1 just discovered for this, I think. Uh, he put a hack over here to all his textures and stuff. He figured something out by doing that. This texture right here, you can't tell if it's the same no matter which way you turn it, is actually upside down. Because he put happy faces all over it, it looked like sad faces. Bloopers in this game is awesome. I know lots of bloopers in this game. I, I know lots of people who make bloopers in this game, and they're all really good. Wait a minute. Is there a coin up there? I saw something. Yeah, one of these has a star or something on it, and one of them has a coin. Yeah, that one has a star, so I'm not going to go for it yet. I don't want to get stars ahead of time in this playthrough. Or let's play. See, I was calling my Let's Plays playthroughs, and now I'm calling my, my, my I'm calling my playthroughs Let's Plays, and now I'm calling my Let's Plays playthroughs. Fudge! I have an update too. I do. I got to update my computer from Prime Mater. You know what? Let's just get the real star. I probably wasted enough time trying to get hard coins here. I usually want people to get last. Uh, put so hard. So demanding of your skills. Uh, crap, stop hurting me. The rock here are most dangerous enemies in the game, pretty much. Three hits through that. Well, I usually survived because. That's how I did. Extra life, extra life, extra life. That will come in handy some time. I like how N64 games do it where they save on the game. But I sort of don't like how not having like a hard drive or anything because, like, after past experiences with games, I understand that you can, like, combine your games and shiz from that. Up there, you see that star up there? That's what we're gonna try to get. It's a very hard one to get. So you gotta use Nessie here. Climb onto her enormous head. Yeah, how are they assuming the Loch Ness Monster is a woman? I'm just, I'm just asking. It's like they're all assuming the Loch Ness Monster is a girl. That made no sense. It's like, unless, if it was a girl, there would be some boy one too, and then there'd be babies running around. Actually, there'd be eggs running around, but then, then babies. Then baby Loch Nesses. And then that'd be scary. This Loch Ness monster baby should be scary. You see, people, everyone says, like, why don't they just go inside the ocean, or uh, inside the lake, and see the monster, like, up close? Because they say if you sink in, it's so dark down there, like, it would be, like, impossible to get out. You lose any, uh, idea of what direction you're pointing, so don't ask. Is true. So, there's always an excuse for why we don't do stuff like that. There! I got it. Hmm. Elevate for eight red coins. Crap, I hate this one. It's that one I've been trying a lot to get, to get 100 coins with. Ugh. Whenever you grab one coin, you're just like, I gotta get a hundred, gotta get a hundred, gotta get a hundred. But oh well. Thought it was programmed. I'm sorry. Huh? The crap? 
How'd I get up here? Guess enough for one episode, so thanks for watching, guys.